So I've had this fiberglass push pull from Diggin. Uh, it's been pretty good. Uh, the camo wrap is, is nice. It's held up pretty well, but it's a little more flexible, a little heavier than I like. So I did some research, uh, met some couple people, couple people on the Ancona and Saltmarsh website, and ended up ordering a MHX push pole. So it actually comes in three pieces. So they're seven feet a piece. So I got a 21 foot push pole. Comes with a foot, the point, the replaceable stainless tip, sandpaper, fiberglass, or uh, not fiberglass, but epoxy. Uh, cut for your epoxy mixing sticks and then carbon fiber sleeves also so you can sleeve everything together so save a little bit of money over buying something pre-made i don't mind doing a little bit of work so it's really not a big deal but the carbon fiber is a much stiffer and much lighter push pole than what the fiberglass is um, like i said i really don't have any complaints with the fiberglass other than the stiffness stiffness and if I wasn't pushing back into some of the grass flats as hard as what I was, it'd probably be perfect if I was out in just shallow water. Um, but I find myself pushing across the tops of grass flats quite a bit and really want to be able to push hard into it and lose a little bit of momentum with the flexibility in the, the fiberglass push pole. So, um, like I said, it's the MHX. Uh, I think it's Mud Hole Extreme is what it is. Uh, I will put a link to the uh, website in my video. And I will give you a review of it and let you know what I think once I start using it a little bit.